first flight of the FB-111A, modified with a new digital flight control system, occurred on May 4, 1989. The flight crew for this first flight were Major Ken Hassenbein, pilot and co-pilot Captain Tim Seeley, both from Edwards Air Force Base Flight Test Center. As the flight crew arrived at the aircraft, they were greeted by the General Dynamics F-111 DFCS Program Manager, Bob Reams, and the Engineering Project Manager, Ben Tony. The DFCS modification program is aimed at improving safety, maintainability, and reliability of the F-111 flight control system. The heart of the new system is a new redundant digital flight control computer developed by Lear Astronics Corporation of Santa Monica, California, which will be more tolerant to first failures. The new digital computer replaces six analog computers currently controlling the flight control system. The software for the new computer was developed by General Dynamics and was validated on an F-111 flight simulator, which was implemented especially for this program. Utilization of modern state-of-the-art electronic components will improve reliability more than tenfold. At this time, the flight crew are preparing the aircraft for flight by visually checking the aircraft to assure that all systems appear normal, that there are no fuel or hydraulic leaks evident and that the general condition of the aircraft looks good for this very important first flight. The air crew spent about 10 minutes carefully checking the exterior of the aircraft before flight. After boarding the aircraft, the air crew completed a series of checks in preparation for engine start. Once these checks were accomplished, the pilot started the engines and conducted a complete series of flight control checks before departing the hangar. The new DFCS modification has incorporated a semi-automated built-in test, which operates all of the critical flight control services, including flaps, slats, spoilers, horizontal tail, and rudder to assure proper operation. At the conclusion of this test, the new voice message system incorporated in this modification advises the crew that the flight control system is okay. The crew also receives satisfactory operation indications by observing proper operation of the lights displayed on the caution panel. Therefore, the new modification provides the flight crew with a high level of confidence before flight that the flight control system is operating normally and in good shape.
Upon successful completion of the necessary ground checks, the aircraft taxied to the end of the runway for takeoff. The test aircraft is now parked and awaiting clearance for takeoff. During this period, an Air Force B-52 experienced an in-flight emergency and was given priority for landing. Included in the first flight operations was an A-7 chase airplane from Edwards Air Force Base to support all the functional check flights at Fort Worth. The chase plane was piloted by Major Alan Hoover. The takeoff of the FB-111A was normal and performed just like an F-111, according to the pilot, Major Ken Hassenbein. later discussions with Ken, he expressed that he was particularly pleased that the takeoff had gone even more smoothly than he anticipated based on the simulator experience. Here the aircraft is shown landing after completing a very successful one and a half hour first flight. Again, as in the takeoff situation, Ken expressed great satisfaction in the way the aircraft handled during the landing phase. First flight objectives included cycling of the landing gear, moderate basic flight maneuvers, and full checkout of the instrumentation and telemetry systems. All systems performed extremely well with only minor flight anomalies.
The new digital flight control system also provides added protection in the low altitude flight regime by addition of the ground collision avoidance voice warning system. The voice warning system will alert the pilot any time that the aircraft is approaching a minimum altitude for a safe recovery. The warning system considers various factors such as airspeed, angle of attack, and aircraft performance capability. After exiting the aircraft, the crew was met by Bob Reams and the Air Force Program Manager, Lieutenant Colonel Bob Large. The air crew expressed very positive results from the first flight, stating that it flew just like an F-111. Nope, nope, we, kind of we would get a, an FCS flight when we landed, but no real problem. How about other, other problems? It sounded from uh, downstairs like it went real well the whole time. It did go pretty well. It was uh, just a couple small things. Yeah. The co-pilot, Captain Tim Seeley, operated the instrumentation system on board and coordinated the various flight test objectives. Tim also expressed the thought that the F-111 modification performed right on target, replicating the expected F-111 flight behavior. On May 11th, the aircraft was released to enter full-scale flight test operations at Edwards Air Force Base having required only three of the four functional flights that were planned at General Dynamics Fort Worth. Flight testing of the FB-111A is expected to be complete in July of 1990. The first production kit-proof installation is planned for late 1991 and will be installed on each of the six F-111 models. <laughs> 